to center. When you enter the room, you see that it is filled with um, tons of uh, mining supplies. And uh, three, uh, three large hallways that uh, lead down uh, three new corridors. What runes do you read? Languages, do you know? Uh, second, like Norse, Jotun, and Elwyn. What's your intelligence? Low, eight. Right, so you can barely, barely tell that uh, the uh, three corridors from the left to right says Shimmering Depths, Grave of Iron, and the Bronze Bank. Well, that doesn't tell me anything, because I have never mined before. <laughs> what language is it written in? Common? Old Norse. I don't read Old Norse. I do. Oh, it was all for both of it. So it doesn't. So my intelligence is ten. <laughs> are you entering the room? Wherever he is, yeah. All right. Are you, all of you following him into the up? Yeah. No. Well, I guess I call them over. Yeah, when he calls, then I suppose we follow. Like on his footstep, way past me. All right. You enter a rather uh, large, large room, and it is filled with uh, mining supplies such as hatches, pickaxes, and uh, carts. Ores, some uh, some uh, various equipment of any imaginable type. What kind of ores are there in my vicinity? Coal, some iron, seems to be some uh, silver ore, maybe. Let's take some silver. Or. Well, we can probably still get it when we return. Okay. Like there's no point, no point like carrying it down and carrying it up again. I mean, that's what miners are good for. They kind of bring the stuff up. But we could sell it. Not in the depth, probably. <clears throat> But I suppose it won't hurt. Do I find a piece of silver that is like fist size? It is so... ore, so you can carry as much ore as you'd like. No, I just um, like ore is usually like stone with like small um, deposits of, of the, the relevant metal. And like um, I want to try to find like um, a stone with a large deposit like so that I don't have to carry a lot of stone for very little silver. All right. The the smallest rock that you can find that you think have a, a reasonable uh, amount of uh, silver in it weighs uh, three pounds. Can I find 20 pounds worth of silver? Or. <laughs> or. It's still worth something. Yeah, but yeah, it's just not silver. It's silver ore. You can, yes. uh, you can. Uh, there's a total of um, 350 pounds of uh, silver ore. Okay, so large... there's enough for everyone. Yeah, but as I don't find like dust or um, pure silver stuff, I'm probably gonna leave the ore. No point in carrying it down. Could I take five pounds in silver? Oh, that's well. Yeah, anyone can grab silver. I would like to not grab it. 
<laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> yeah, Sigma is also decided against it. And then you who uh, know Old Norse. Yes. You read from left to right, you see the three large hallways that says uh, the shimmering depths to the left. Then straight ahead, you have the iron grave. Grave of Iron, and to the right you have the Bronze Bank. Let's go to the bank. <clears throat> I think that the first word might be more meaningful in these cases. We're going to the Bronze Bank. Does any any of the the paths look? more and or less used, like spiderweb-wise, dust-wise, um, stones on the ground, stuff like that. As far as resemblance go, they look awfully alike, except for the three signs. Okay, so um, they, are, they seem to be like equally used. Yep, as okay. you can go. Yeah, well then, I have no issue with doing what what our genius barbarian suggests. Bronze bank, it is. Well, go ahead, <clears throat> Jay. Going down the hallway, you walk for two hours, and then. You enter a large, vast cavity inside the, inside the mines, and you see water dripping down, and uh, there seems to be a, a narrow, uh, a narrow rope bridge that uh, is probably in rather poor condition. Seems to be uh, the only way across this uh, large gap between you and the other side of the cavity. How large is the gap? Around uh, 120 feet. Okay. How far do we fall? You can't see the bottom. <laughs> All right, we're not doing that. Okay, let's try the other ones then. You seriously are going to walk around for hours around here, right? Well, All if right. you have a better idea, now's the time. Well, I see a rope bridge. Someone wanted to go to the bank. Not that bad. It could be. It should be somebody with low weight and low armor and blah blah blah. Other things to avoid well, a heavy weight to pass through. The answer is no. No. Okay. Fine. Fine. Um. Can I like attach myself with a rope to? Or who has a rope? What I don't know. Don't we have a rope? I thought we had rope. Uh, explain me what you want to do with the rope. Well, when I am to cross this damn bridge, it makes sense to secure myself to something that is fixed so that I don't fall. Right. Um. We don't have enough rope to do it. Also, okay. you'll fall and still die if you don't if you secure yourself this way. No, no, I won't die. But okay, so we're not going over there. Off was right once, and it was right again. Let's turn back. I have no death wish. I mean, that w that would be a sad end for a great hero like me. Killed by a rope bridge after slaying giants and ogres and crazed necromancers and crazed yards. Here, dressed Sigma, he died by a rope bridge? No. Well, <laughs> being a, a scared of a rope bridge is even more. It could be a good story. It could be a good story. I, I, people will remind you forever if I can sing your <laughs> experience. It's I'm in poor following. condition. I'm not going across that. 
from the hall behind you, you hear footsteps. Can we hide uh, somewhere? There are some rocks, but they're scarily close to the edge. Can we just get on either side of the doorway, or is there no yeah. entryway? Uh, it's like the hallway goes out towards the cavity, and uh, then it just uh, widens. But there's no like uh, uh, ninety degree turn; like it, it just widens slightly. Ready up, boys! Is there like is there like some kind of um, some kind of outcropping? Like is is the 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 other walls even everywhere, or is are they like um? Like, is there some kind of a, well, space where you could could squeeze in, or that you can could could block off and, and be in? You can probably try and squeeze in between some of the rocks between you and the uh, cavity, since you're so small. But yeah, yeah, but like the there's no like um. Outcropping or something um, wh where the whole group would fit in. No. Hmm. Well, then we can just try to hide in the darkness, and if it doesn't work, then we will probably have to kill them, whoever they are. Uh, you said I know. What? How far away do I judge them to be? Hard to tell, maybe 50 feet, maybe 100 feet. Okay, well, I run at least like 10 to 15 feet, and uh, I'm going to set my grenade down, and then I'm going to run away. <laughs> are you are you in the right setting? Do we still have bear traps? Yes, we still carry them around. We never lost them. It's not a not a modern grenade. It's a firebomb. Right. So ah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The way he say that looks like we are in that kind of. <laughs> bye bye. Set up the bear bye. traps. Sigma's gone and invisible. From behind you, you get hit by a large black cloud of bats that begin to fly all around you all around your head, all around your face. They're everywhere in this, uh, um, this small uh, ledge that you're staying on. What small ledge? Who's on the small like, ledge? Yeah, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the area where, where, you, where you're at before the, the pitfall. OK, I thought it was like <laughs> opening up. Was like rocks and stuff. Okay. Yeah, it, it does, but relatively speaking, it's uh, not huge. Okay. Yeah, I, I I have problem imagining it, but please continue. The bats they fly around and around, and they seem to uh, seems to linger amongst you. Can I see? Can I roll? Can I roll nature to know which one is the Natural predator of uh, a bat. Sure. You seem to remember that bats eat uh, mostly insects. No, no. What? No, what they eat. You know, which one is their predator? Oh. What eats bats? Uh, nothing really. They have no. Uh, no one who is on top of their food chain, except for themselves, really. They're in a special niche. Not any, yeah. not any cave animal? Nothing? Not really, no. Do you remember anything else about birds? This goes on for a couple of minutes, and then they vanish, and you no longer hear the footsteps behind you.
Well, that was probably not good. Quenard thought he managed to cut some of the bats, but looking down, he sees nothing. No. Yes. We did not see anything. See what? I'd like to shoot into the cave. All right. <clears throat> the arrow flies over the pitfall and then cling. You hear it bounce off the other side of the cavern. Do I hear it fall? You do, slowly, but you never heard it hit the bottom as it's so far down. So you still want to go back or do we go forward? I don't really want to go ahead on myself. No, if we go, we should go as a group because we don't know what can be found in, in in our trip. I guess we're going back, right? Because Ulf and Sigmar don't want to cross the bridge. Yeah, I hope in the songs you write, Sigmar will be known as. Can... I can try. I think I'm quite the lift and I can leave my most of my things away. I only wear light armor, so I can. And Danny, do I can try to go through? All right. Are you trying to cross the bridge? Yes. Go on, roll me an acrobatic check. You manage to get across the bridge, and it uh, it swings a bit and it creaks, but uh, you get across just fine. Then you see a small door ahead of you. I try to check for traps. I don't know. I'm trying to look into the into the hole, into the keyhole. If they have a keyhole and. Go with Logan and check if I see somebody inside something. Peering through the keyhole, you see a um, a uh, larger room that is uh, stacked with mining supplies and ores. And uh, it seems to be, uh, there seems to be three uh, hallways leading away from the room. Can I listen anything? Can I? You hear nothing. Okay, I turn back to the rest and I make some kind of uh, gesture with the hand saying that inside is nothing. You open up. Jesus Christ. What in Discord? I make that I make them the the sign that I'm going to open up. Um, I'm going for it. You open up the door. Yes, I'm trying to open the door, but I'm not. I don't want to stay just in front of the of the lock in front of the door. Just being to one side and door, open it. You immediately recall this room. It looks exactly like the mining hub. That you came from. And I said in the whispery voice, this is like the main hall. This is the main hall we're coming through. I don't think anyone crossed but you. Nobody's yeah, crossed. We're on the other side. <laughs> Yes, go back, to, go back to the hole, and I will meet you there. Yeah, 
Are you yelling across the 120 foot chasm? I think it's not going to be a good idea because nobody's going to listen to me. Also, I said it was a whispering, so I will make my way back to the through the bridge to to that. I think even better. I don't want to split the group. In you make it back to the other side. Uh, okay, better then. So, what'd you see? Yes, uh, the main hall that we're passing through before. So, I don't know. Maybe it's one of the doors that we saw. What'd I do? Shall we come back and try another door? Another way? You're so making looks like the food noises camera. again. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. Push to talk yourself. Did you, can you listen to me now? Oh yeah, you're fine. Just there was just a crumbling noise, and I assumed it was all, all Sebastian. No. What? No, it wasn't you. Or it wasn't you, and all. It, w it wasn't me. Just continue. We are still listening to you, Rose. Don't worry about it. Ali. Yeah, so shall we come back? To try another path, another route, because this one is taking you taking us back to the main hall. Yep. So you want to walk across the bridge, or you want to walk back two hours and try a different door? She already walked back over the right. bridge. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Should we all cross the bridge, or should we all go back? No, no we should all go back. Yeah, it would be a kind of a crazy thing just to try to cross everyone uh, across. All right, let's go. We can probably two hours walking down this uh, this pathway, all way, and then you see uh, uh, in front of you hundreds of uh, severed limbs hanging from the ceiling that were oh. not there when you walked down this path before. Somebody did some decorating. That's nice. Welcome decorations. It does not look at those hands. Yeah. Too bad Johan isn't here. Maybe we would have found one that fitted. <laughs> well, can't win them all. Is there like another exit from this limpy place? No. Two hours go by and you come back to the hub where you started it all. Okay. Well, that was... Somebody's pulling our leg, I think. <laughs> Everyone uh, make me a charisma saving throw. All right. Sigma, you really take 1d6 of necrotic damage. Of. Yes. You find uh, when you're back into the the hall where you started it all, you see a uh, large rune that is now glowing, covering the entire ground of the mining hub. What does oh, the rune damn. Say? What languages do you speak? Uh, giant, common, and old Norse. So the uh, the rune seems to say stuff that you have no clue what they mean. Oh. Well, 
Ulpia, okay, you look like you've seen the same ghost as I. I feel uh, kind of strange. I see writing. <laughs> yeah, like, sure, uh, writing. Uh, how, 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 how exactly would that look like? Some rune! <laughs> sure. Nobody else can see it though, right? I don't know. I can't read it. But what does it look like? It covers the whole floor. Did you lose oh, your eyes? Well, that's not helping. Can you, like, paint it? I could try to draw it. Well, then, go ahead. All right. So I attempt to draw it. I don't know how that would go. Could you draw Just... it in? Could you draw it in a parchment? Yeah. Somebody have paper? I doubt it. Don't know, but there's lots of coal here, so. Oh yeah. All right. So I I take some coal and I draw it out what I see. Looks like this. Can anyone read this? Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> A true artist. <laughs> I don't think I can read it, right? No. Hey, Jotun boy, come look at this. Uh, Ulf, can you read Jotun? So. He doesn't know it. I I also don't. Oh, okay. I think it's pretty safe to assume <laughs> that it's not halfling. <laughs> or thieves can't. No one seems to be able to read this. Well, that sucks. Maybe I can draw it on something and we can ask in town when we get back. Yes, you can, we can write it down in my... I do have a book and ink and ink pen, so we can write it down. Okay. <coughs> Let's you do that. You coal when you had an ink pad? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, um, is He's there... Like covered in soot. <laughs> um, the, you, you said there were like... Um, like braces around, right? There were what? Braces around, like the the light sources. Yeah. Can I find some suit? Like you know, residue for burning stuff, black. Suit. Yeah, it's like black residue. I can can. Post it if you if it helps, but it's like so, yeah, yeah, it's like it's like residue from burning stuff, like ashes. Yeah, something like that. Just black, not. Hmm. All right. Okay. Um, okay. No, like they're oil razors. Okay, but there should still be some. Like it's it's the black stuff that you would also get when you um hold a well like a oil yeah, I mean, flame. I guess you would find a minimal amount, but it's not like a pile of it. Yeah, a minimal amount is sufficient. Do I find salt in our food reserves? I probably still have some. Well, I mean, then probably. that's then let's see what this does. <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you do? Are you looking to do powder, gun powder? No, I just gather the suit and the salt, and then I touch the rune that was painted. <laughs> what does it tell me? You see that it's a, um, it's a. Um... 
foreign language too, but um, comprehending the meaning of the rune, you understand that it has something to do with uh, mental control. Mental control. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I think this has something to do with mental control. <laughs> So it's like a trap or a sigil or something? Well, I apparently I don't know more. I, I, I usually like um, when I when I uh, in my in my deep meditative studies uh, learn to do this. I, I seem to remember that I should know more about signs and languages and stuff. But apparently everything I get from this is it has something to do with mental control, so I don't know what it is. And I also cannot see the original, I can just see the, the painting of it. So you want to keep talking or should we check another route? Probably check another route, yeah. Could I roll Arcana to see if that room means something to me? Sure. Um, gathering this uh, info, they uh, relate to you. You uh, try and find the source of it, and after you channel your ability to detect magic and magical sources, you uh, sense the presence of a strong, uh, mind-altering magic, some sort of a trap. The origin, however, seems uh, alien to you. Nothing that you've ever felt or seen before. It looks like something completely strange to me, but it's some kind of... Uh... Sorry, what do you say? Can you describe it to Roland so that he can, like, look at it from a religious point of view if you say it's not like some standard arcana thing yes yes no i'm trying to tell you what he said to me what the dm said to me but i don't remember all the all that bit yeah roland does this ring any bells within your vast religious knowledge um I don't, do, do I know that they even use like sigils in a manner that, like in a religious manner for traps or anything like that? Is that something I've ever heard of or read about? Not really, no. Okay. So, no, not really that I've heard of, but I think, I mean, from what you guys are describing, it seems sort of like a trap and I feel like we triggered it already. So, I don't know. Should we just keep going? Well, don't see any other way. I mean, the guard's probably not going to give us standing ovations if we just go home now. Right. And I and I kind of want standing ovations because I've had <laughs> bad experiences with guards also. But like I met three and two are dead now. <laughs> and one is going on my little balls. So, yeah, let's just let Ulf, our little lucky fairy, fay thingy. What? Choose, choose another. Yeah, you may choose another way. You did great. All right. What, what was we took the bronze bank? Shimmering uh, depths or shimmering uh, depths. Iron, iron grave. Shimmering depths. No, wait. If we're looking. Let's go to the Iron Grave. All right, we take the straight path. Going down the straight path, you uh, start uh, descending stairs, and you descend for 30 minutes. Then you're at the bottom of a uh, sandy texture as the uh, ground seems to... Uh, 
sure to reach some sort of a underground lake. And um, you see a small pathway lingering back and forth across this uh, lakey area. Is the like, lake water? Weird question, but... Maybe. Most likely. So it looks like water? It resembles water, at least from afar? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it looks like liquid, but it's almost pitch black, so... Can I listen for movement again? Sure. Notice anything? You notice some uh, creepy noise from uh, from the walls. I notice a creepy voice from the walls. Noise. Yeah, I tell the group that I did so. Can I look at to see if it's some more of that hands or parts or something else? Looking up onto the walls, you see nothing. Um, how far away is the water? Um, like 40 feet. You're on a small bay area. And then there are like a sand dune path. Okay, so... Yeah, what? Were you trying to say anything? Uh, I was just wondering if the path was like visible to us, but if it's like sand dune, I guess it would be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to create some kind of small light source in 30 feet distance in white and um, try to see what if the water is water and if the path is a path. Now that we know that there's some freaky mind control stuff out. Kind of getting jumpy a bit. The water seems to be water, and the path seems to be sand. Okay. So we continue on, guys. I think I'm definitely gonna... going ahead. Yeah. Crossing this lake area, you reach the other side of this um, rather large cavity only to exit through a door. And on the other side of that door, you find the hub where you started the journey. Gonna roll well, me a saving throw. Everyone roll me Christmas saving throw. Bruce and Deskup. This time you uh, you seem to be uh, aware of what's going on. You can both make an intelligence saving throw. Intelligence saving throw. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, we are not. You, f for a second, when you entered this room, you thought that you were under some some strange spell, but thinking about it, you probably just assume that multiple rooms look exactly the same in this area. Okay, guys, um, I feel pretty creeped out. This is all not right, and we all need to focus now and give our best in this quest. Um, and I'm trying to um, to inspire somebody. Probably, you know, I don't know. Think about what you saw, whatever comes to mind. I, I rarely, rarely use those. And you can have one now. Do we... Getting inspired, you can try to uh, get your thoughts together and make another intelligence saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
you I doubt totally, Bardic Inspiration helps me. <laughs> you feel totally crestfallen. Sigmar, I'm you. pretty sure those are just normal rooms. What are you talking about? Can I do well, the same with the cleric to inspire him to see if he says something else? Sure. You know, we're the two dumbest Come characters on. in the team. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault you created a moron. The warming music fills the rocky uh, cavity room. The nice feeling as Roland tries to channel his thoughts. <laughs> the tension. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we add bonuses. And you also have some part conspiracy. So, 15. <laughs> 15? 13. 13. So close. So, but just no! from my head, it seems like it's either these rooms are enchanted to look like the first room, or it's somehow enchanted that we're just like going in a big circle, right? Is that what you guys are feeling at least looking at this? No, I got no idea what's going on. This is just frustrating and unnerving. Do you have any coal with you? Did you pick up any coal before? Well, there's plenty no, around there's here. There's all around. And if we mark uh, somewhere each room we pass through to check if it's the same one or if it's a different one? Yeah, well, it's the, the marking where Ulf painted the, the sign um, when we last were in the hub, still there. Everyone roll me a perception check. Oh, five rolls. I see I... a wall. Quenar, you think you see a ghost down the uh, corridor heading down to the bronze uh, bank? Sigmar, Brucey, and Ian, <laughs> you see uh, a uh, image of yourself walking down the path to the bronze bank. What the fuck? Slow, slowly turning around, looking at you, and then he turns his head back and walks down the path. Quick, I want to wave. Did, Did I, I get hit it? a ghost? <laughs> Did I wave quick enough to myself? But the arrow passed straight through it. Yeah, you you managed to wave to yourself. Oh, I didn't wave cool. back. Or... Next time, maybe. <laughs> we might have another chance. <laughs> All right, let's want to cross this path and take the left entrance this time and see if it does the same thing. Or do you want to go back and take the left entrance? I think we are in the hub, and now we can like go to the shimmering shivers death thing that thing do. But oh, okay, that's the one that's still open, right? The shimmering well, shimmering. Well, it's two for two so far. Oh, yeah. should we go down this left path? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Heading down the path. You uh see that the uh, hallway begins to grow more and more narrow the further down you go. I want to wave back. Backwards. Wave back? Yeah, wave backwards. All right. Sigma waves backwards. Good. You continue on for one hour, and now the hallway is so thin that you have to walk sideways just to push forwards. Yet Except for Sigma. Hour in. <laughs> Except for Sigma. Yet an hour in, you uh, continue down this narrow ha hallway. And uh, then you find a, uh, a large golden statue. And uh, under the uh, feet of the golden statue, there's a bronze door. How does the statue look? 
it looks as if uh, a large warrior with a uh, two-handed greatsword held within it, between its uh, hands. May it's roll, me! May I roll history? Sure. No, no idea. Does it resemble any gods as far as like the weapons it's holding or the way it's dressed? Um, do you want to roll me a uh, insight roll? Does it look like me? It looks uh, it's awful. awfully similar to the statue you encountered in your weird and hazy um, time in the underground temple. Oh, the one that, uh, yeah, yep. I might have smacked <laughs> yeah. and, then he, and then he zapped me. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, Sigma assumes that there's some history here. I see it in your face. Well, we when we when we went into that underground place and we were in the woods a few weeks back, at the end of it, we met a statue that talked to us and looked similar to this and uh it put us through a series of tests before it you know gave us uh some of the magical items that we have and told us about the uh dark humans okay well sounds fair so do you abracadabra and talk to it shush there you go was um I have Kingdom Arganus in my notes. I don't remember what that is. <laughs> Does that have to do with this? Does anybody remember? What? Ar Kingdom Arganus or something like that? What? Oh, I don't know. It was about at the area where we met that guy that I haven't written down. So maybe I misheard you and wrote something else. Anyway. Uh, what exactly what, what, was it that you had written down? That's it. I didn't even write any notes after it. So I don't even know why I wrote it. <laughs> King kingdom <laughs> like Arganus or something after the King dark humans i don't know kingdom Arganus. it's probably from the backstory check which he told us hmm. maybe <clears throat> okay so i uh i will just sort of pray and uh i'll first pray to odin and then i'll see if i can you know, if anybody else is listening, uh, I know that I'm, I met somebody like this statue before. I'm wondering if you have any information for us. Your amulet begins to glow brightly, and you can make me an intelligence check with uh, advantage. Still not good, guys. <laughs> Come on, nobody can be a ten to double crit fail. Yeah. Double crit fail. <laughs> the second one was a two. <laughs> you, you feel can a um, radiant wave kind of uh, <clears throat> beating you in the chest, and then you wake up on the floor of the uh, of the hub where you guys were. You see your adventuring mates down on the floor. And their eyes are open, but they're completely white. So they seem to be in some sort of a trance. Oh. And I'm awake. You're awake, yeah. Uh, I crawl over to the nearest one to me and I start slapping their face a little bit, see if I can pull them out of it. Uh. I don't know whoever's nearest to me. Um, okay, Sigmar is nearest. Sigmar, <laughs> gonna roll Sigmar's me getting a slapped. <laughs> intelligence check with disadvantage. You said Sigmar, right? Or did you yep. say me? Sigmar. All right, so down by the golden statue. You feel the entire world getting like it's shaking back and forth, back and forth, and then nothing. He doesn't wake up. 
I slap him again. Seems to give no effect. Did Roland disappear for us? No, he's still there. Okay. I'm going to just rest at the hub then. I'm going to take like a short rest with everybody and just <laughs> sort of monitor them and see if anybody snaps out of it. I'm going to Brewing some I'm coffee, gonna... roasting some chicken. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You make your short rest and nothing seems to happen. Can I sing while we read the song of rest? We can recover some health. You're still in the, um, wherever you are. We are okay. next to the stadium. Some weird shit going on here. <laughs> How convinced am I that I am not dreaming? 99%. Okay. Just make it sure. I'll do another prayer to Odin. Um, try to not be <laughs> upset that <laughs> that that was so unhelpful. <laughs> what are you asking for him? Of him? Oh, I'm just saying, uh, you know, grant me guidance so that I can sort of figure out what's going on and what happened to my friends. you uh, immediately get some sort of a vision and then you insight that uh, the rune or the magic is holding them into place somehow feeding of their of their souls and of their their intellect can i uh try to drag one of them out of the room sure i'll start with sigmar he's nice and small Dragging him out of the uh, of the large room, he uh, uh, his eyes seems to no longer be uh, pure white. He just seems to be unconscious. All right, I slap him again really fast, and I run back in and grab somebody else. <laughs> Sigma, you wake up. on the floor outside of the mining hub. And after a couple of minutes, you managed to uh, get all of the guys back up, guys and girls back up outside oh, of the circle. That was weird. The, uh, the rune itself seems to uh, glow brightly now, so you can actually see it. Did you say rune? Yeah, there's a large rune covering the floor. Okay, okay. I was just making sure you didn't say room, R-O-O-M. Oh, okay. So what happened? Uh, last thing I remember, I was trying to talk to that statue thing and Odin, and I woke up Spread Eagle in the hub, and all of you guys were also on your backs, but you had like glassy, vacant expressions on. And it wasn't until I pulled you out of the room that you guys started waking up. Something about that that rune is draining from us. There was a brass door back in the the glimmering depths next to the statue that we haven't tried yet, I believe. But I don't know if we want to rest. It's probably been a pretty long time that we've been down here. Do we have any um, any feeling or any thought how much time has passed like outside here uh, no clue it's impossible to know um how do i feel like do i feel exhausted like uh, after after hours of walking or like how, how's how's my my how do i feel or how does sigma um, feel you feel at unease but not exhaust exhausted 
Okay, so um, we try to get get rid of the rune on the floor and then go to the brass door. Is that what you're suggesting, Roland? Yeah, I think so. Um, I can try like a dispel magic spell. I just don't know if this is too strong for me. Like I might not be able to have any effect, but I feel like at this point we might as well try, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's, the magic um, explodes, leaving a blue nova of uh, magical energy, and uh, everyone regains one d six hit points. Sweet. You feel as if the uh, the rune itself uh, fills you up with some uh, some energetic force, and you feel way more alert than you did before. Not as uh, disoriented does it give temporary hit points if I go yeah. over max if you were at full health I'll, you get temporary points fucking really I rolled a one I'm right behind you hold on oh never mind sorry elf <laughs> <sighs> So the, rune is, the rune is now gone. Okay, I suppose we go on then, like Roland suggested. I mean, he kind of saved the day, so I guess it's his turn. <laughs> he gets to drive. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think the only place we haven't been, although all bets are kind of off because we just woke up a little bit, but that door under the statue is what I'm most interested in. So I think we should go back to the glimmering depths. Well, Shimmering depths, that's, excuse me. If that's your decision, a wise leader, then wise leader. I kind of puff out my chest and I start walking that way. <laughs> walking 20 yards down the hallway, you uh, uh, meet a uh, large steel door. That's Seems to be sealed off by multiple mechanisms. This was not here before, right, guys? <laughs> um, what kind of mechanism? Multiple. Some advanced high tech locks. Ooh, toys. Can I try to make sense of it? Sure. Roll me an uh, inspection, an investigation check. I cast guidance on him. So, um, All six, right. 16 plus level. guidance. What is it? Still one d four. No, oh, great. So it's seventeen. All right. You uh, you can tell that it's nothing that you could ever be able to pick with a regular thieves tool. You would definitely need some sort of a custom key or a custom made tool to get this open. Okay, guys. I think this is the end of the line. All right. Not this way. Oh, oh no. One's no good. Well, then, wise leader us to another door. All right. Can we roll to see? What? No, nothing, nothing. Let's say I head back to the hub and go to the middle entrance to the Iron Grave. 20 yards in, you uh, face a... Uh, Seemingly a duplicate of the door you just saw. Motherfucker. Okay. You want to go to the last door then, I guess, or see if there's anything down the bronze bank? Uh, okay. Okay. Why not do 
would you would you would you mind shooting it from a distance just you know to be sure sure say so can't hurt yeah I shot the door you shoot the door yeah why why man because I, me. because I asked him to I don't shoot doors normally. Doors are not interesting to shoot at. So I, I assume the arrow just plunks off and it's massive metal door. Right? Which door did you shoot? The, 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 the second one. Uh, yeah. Uh, it also released a small spark of energy. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's try door number three then, I suppose, wise leader, as soon as you have fixed your sound. Yeah, that was the first thing that I heard was Sigmar saying door number three. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume that happened before that, and I do that. Well, then, wise leader is to. Door number three. Door number three? Yes. All right. Going down the hallway down to Bronze Bank, you see that the uh, large uh, steel doors are slammed open. They look exactly the same like the ones you saw before, but these ones are open. My Discord is being a bitch. It's working now. Cool. But it keeps kicking me off. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I try to get back on it. It says no route. Like, I don't, um, I don't know what's happening. Maybe if I change the server to America. No, it has to do with... It was on my phone. It has to do with when someone calls. Also, I don't want to go to America. <laughs> Down the hallway, you see a large bronze door 50, 50 feet out of you. Can I pick something up and like in a not obvious way? Um, put it like um, on the ground in the steel door so that it would, when it would usually shut like a piece of ore or something, that it would be blocked from closing the metal door, that the one that is open. You can do whatever you want to try to do. Yeah, I, I want, to, want to do that. Like pick up some kind of ore or stone and like jam it so that um, the, the, the steel door can't shot behind us all right you managed to squeeze a little bit of ore under the huge steel door so should we move ahead all right the door's yeah. open no i suppose we should stand here until we die of old age of course we will move on well that's what you seem to like doing yeah, I know. It's also scary. 